Good evening. Welcome to Fox 31 News Weekend. I'm Ashley Knight. Family and friends of Jerome Walden walked the alleyway where he was fatally beaten exactly one year ago. Fox 31's Colby Gallagher connects you to his story. Jerome Walden's family members recall what the 45-year-old father, grandfather, brother, and son was like. He was a good brother then. He was a fussy. You had to fuss at him sometime, but other than that, he was good. He was a family-oriented person, fun-loving, hard worker, and, you know, everybody just clinged to him. Walden passed away on July 29, 2011, after being kept on life support for over a month, a result of a brutal beating in an alley off the corner of Poplar and Highland Avenue that the family still struggles to accept. No one can understand why it happened, what reason would anybody have to brutally beat someone like that and just leave them there. Now a year to the day after the beating, Walden's family held a candlelight vigil in the spot he fought for his life as a way to keep his memory alive. Friends and family say Walden walked this alleyway every day and if it happened to him, it can happen to anyone. During this vigil, they'll be walking the alleyway themselves in hopes of getting closure. We're hoping to get some kind of closure for the family because a lot of us are still having a hard time adjusting to it. Walden's sister says it's so hard to adjust, it's almost like he's not really gone. It just like, don't seem like he gone. It just seemed like he out of town somewhere working. And we think some of us still looking for him to come, but we know he ain't gonna show up. Walden's family says tonight showed, although he is gone, he's not forgotten. Colby Gallagher, Fox 31 News.